You have a point. You have an absolute great point. I, I don't disagree with you. Is that thing on even now? It says it's on here. Is there any light? You might have to turn it off to turn it back on. Is that what happened? It might have shut down, but it's on. Hopefully, is there any light on it? Yeah, but there is. I'm sure there is. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so we're going back to Go, the game Go. Nobody's picked that for their topic, I see. Is there any open questions left for that? Holy moly, yes. <laughs> Yes, because it's so complex, so there's many games. But I, I would definitely recommend if you take Go to take some offshoot of Go that is accessible. How about this, mathematically tractable? Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, if you look at Go, you're placing a stone and you have these stones around it that can capture the stone. So the area around a single stone is, for example, if I'm looking at this position one, two, this location one, two, the area around the stone are, makes a cross. The, that's actually, it actually has a name. It's called the Neumann neighborhood um, from cellular automata. But this is this cross. And then you don't count the diagonals as being in the neighborhood. So this neighborhood, you can actually index. So if we call that an adjacent point. An adjacent point to IJ is one to the left, one to the right, one below, and one above, plus or minus one in each direction, right? And not the crosses. The crosses would have I minus one and J minus one here. So that would be the difference. The cross neighborhood is called the Moore neighborhood, and the, the diagonal ones are called the Moore neighborhood, and the cross ones are called the Neumann neighborhood. So these are definitions. Um, adjacent point means that it's in, a, in the cross neighborhood of that original point. A point color black or white is called just a stone. Adjacent stones of the color from connected components is called a string. So all the components that, um, if you have a list of adjacent stones next to each other of the same color, uh, and they form, con it's all connected together, we call that a string. Exactly what you see with your eyes. Um, so that's called a string. And an empty point adjacent to a string, so if you have an empty location adjacent to a string, it's called a liberty of that string. So they use this language all the time in any mathematical and even the game playing descriptions of Go. And in fact, I, I think that on the video they were talking about liberties of a stone. They're talking about places where the other stones can go. So here's an image. Um, the crosses represent li uh, liberties of an isolated white stones, and they're marked with X. And notice that um, I had the I plus one, J plus one. You could be down in the corner, and here the liberties, you don't have the bottom liberty because it's off the, off the graph paper. So you only have the liberties that are marked in X here. And over here in this bottom corner, you only have two liberties. These are strings, and I, I, I marked them up so you can see the strings. They're adja all adjacent and connected. So this whole group here is called a string. And the string itself can have liberties.
So the rules that I read, because I read several lists of rules and I had to decide upon one, unlike Tyler, I had to actually decide upon one and keep to it. On her turn, a player can either pass or make a move that doesn't repeat an earlier position. And I mentioned as you guys were playing Go that sometimes the computer wouldn't let you do something that you thought was a completely viable option. Let me show you um, why that can happen. This has a name. It's called the Positional Super Co or the PSK position. So here's an example. So right over here, you have a liberty for the black. And suppose it was black's turn. What should black do? Go on the thing marked R, right? Because if they do, they can capture that white. And you're in that, that position right now, right? But it's white's turn now. What should white do? Put the white where the U is, right? And they've captured then. <laughs> and you're back to where you started. And you don't want to do that because it's going to forever, it's, the, the game is kind of stupid, right? Everybody's just going back and forth. So that um, is called the PSK rule that you're not allowed to do that. So, so, why go? so this move is not allowed because you're in a forever periodic cycle. Back and forth. Right. So if it was flipped the other way, it would be the same thing. So as you were playing, I wasn't able to look on your screens. It's possible, though, that you guys were in one of these positions where it would be a back and forth, and that's not allowed. I saw a different version of this rule. So in one version of the rules, I saw this is not allowed at all. And I think that's the computer game you guys were playing, that it was not allowed at all. But I saw another one where um, White couldn't make the move until she made a different move first. So she can go back and make that move two times away, but not right away. What do they call a move? A move consists of coloring the empty point your color or filling the empty point with your color, followed by emptying all the opponent, opponent strings without liberties. It's capturing. That's what's considered a move. So when you capture, it's part of your move. You can also empty your own strings that have no liberties. It's called suicide. And the rules that I read, read that two consecutive passes ends the game. So this is not a combinatorial game because you don't end up losing because you didn't have a move. You end up losing if you can't, if you're making two passes in a row. No, you don't have to pass if you don't have a move. You, you, you can just pass. Yeah, you can pass. It might be strategic for you to pass. I think that's why people are interested in the game. It's like chess. People like the game because there's strategies that you can employ that are interesting. I have a short attention span, so I, I can't play those kind of games. I'm like <sighs> solitaire does it for me. <laughs> Positions um, that arise and go, strings always have liberties. And when the strings have liberties, this is called a legal move. So when they're counting the number of legal moves, they're counting the ones where the strings have liberties. The number of positions that are legal on an M by N board, now we're into math, they're denoting L of M comma N. So here's a list of all possible moves for a, I guess, four corners. We have four possible corners which can play sentence, the simplest little game. And you can say, okay, what are all possible configurations that I can put down? And I can place them all. I can even count what that is easily. And you have two things, um, two colors that you're placing on four different, what, how many you're going to get? This is probability. Do you remember? How come you guys are so tired? I was just saying. That was, that was weird. How many is for a four by four? What's the probability? You have, you recall that you probably yeah, had to do. Four times three times two times three. I think it's like it's repeated down in the bottom. No, you have um, two different colors. Oh, two different or colors. I actually have empty two. You have three different colors okay. that she can place into four positions. You have white, empty, and black. Oh, into four, yeah, how many combinations were you going to get at the end? Four. 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 We get to four. 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 Four
No, no, you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I get, I get eight times nine. Yeah. So, yeah. Seventy-two. So what's missing? There might be a certain combination. They didn't draw up here. All empties is not up here, is it? Yeah. Okay. All empties is not up here. So something's been placed on here. So they've eliminated some well, some of them. Isn't on there. Just the left corner isn't on there. Bottom left and top left. They only show top right and bottom right. So two one and uh, one two is two two. They don't show one one and two one. Hmm. I'm searching to see if I missed it. When you look at this, for example, this is not a legal, what they consider not a legal move, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. right here, this guy is captured, so this yeah. is not a legal move. So they've crossed it out. So what I'd like you to do is go through that diagram and explain e why each one of the crossouts are not legal positions. And then compute L22. That's what you're doing here. They have listed everything possible, and then they're crossing out the illegal moves. So computing L22 means just counting what's left after the crossouts. Can you go back to the question? You couldn't do this without the class. <laughs> Can you guys work together? Can she work with you? Can she work with Catherine? Yeah, I'm gonna. Do you guys have the questions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are the. Oh, this is fine. There we go. I'm, I'm just as tired as you guys. I just have makeup on. That's all. And <laughs> So we don't have to rewrite the whole chart. No. Like this one was crossed out. Right. Because. This is why. Right. Okay. Most of them have to be crossed out. Yes. <laughs> I think some of them are a little bit different. Let's see. I have the. Do you guys have it? Do you guys have all the uh, the questions now? Okay. So there's the cross outs. You can draw it. There's only a few cross outs actually. <laughs> You'll never see this configuration because when they do the move, they're gonna clean that out. And if the white can't even, like when you played the go, you could have put it there. So if it was a white move, that could have never be put there. And if it's a black move, they would have cleared that out and they're moving the over without the white there in the first place. So this, this configuration would never happen. Draw, draw a few, show what, explain what I just said. Right. 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 Like, are we doing like, 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
string on the bottom, the two connected to it, count its liberty left. It's only liberty left is that one empty space. So now when white goes there, it officially captured all the liberties. So it captures that black string. Mm -hmm. That's why it won't go there. Right. Because that will always... Remember, uh, I, I know how to explain it. Hang on one second. I know how to explain it. Um, remember this? Y your issue is right here, right? Um, now picture a screen down here, I'm just more and of this if all the liberties are taken, then it's a captured string. It's, instead of pick, thinking of one thing right there, consider a whole string down here. That's what's happening on that picture. That, that configuration will never happen, because if all those liberties are taken, that entire string goes to the other color. But also that won't happen anyways, because we put that there. Does that make sense? So picture like two of these here, right? Right. Um, and pi but picture them in this corner. So two whites in this corner. If there's two whites in this corner and there are two blacks here and a black here, then it's trapped in that whole string. But if there was this part wasn't here and your size was only this box, you've taken all the liberties and captured them all. 
Right. If you got if all the liberties are another color that will see the same Right. Around that are around that Neumann neighborhood of the three. Right. And the Neumann neighborhood of this three is just the top two. So you'll never see that configuration. Got it? Yeah. Is that better? Right. I mean, th that was my difficulty playing golf because I couldn't see these kind of things ahead of time. And so I spent a lot of time trying to put my thing down and it won't let me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yes. Right. That's right. It's hard to think of it like that because you... Um, the object of the game is not to capture, actually. The object of the game is to preserve your liberties. And so um, when you first play, at least I'm not there yet. I'm still playing goal with trying to make sure that I'm not captured. But um, when I, I do end up half the time trying to put my stone down, and it's rejecting the fact that I'm putting the stone down. So some of these illegal moves have showed up. So I cannot put the stone down. It's a suicidal move. I think it's more like, like in the beginning, I can't play too green. I gotta, I gotta, like, if I can capture it, like, that moment, but they can't move there. But you got greedy. further than many, many of us. So you, I think playing greedy might be a first strategy to start with. Um, interesting, because I looked at it as, don't capture me. Right. So, no, I'm, I'm not saying, like, not capture me. I'm saying, wait until it's the last time you got. You know what I'm saying? So I say, like, you have it.